Welcome everyone to The Main Journey, a way for you to join me on a learning journey through life. My name is Samuel Main, and today I am giving you an insight into my story so far. This is part two. Nurse, have I finished going to the bathroom yet? I asked. Unable to move, I needed the nurse's assistance to get out of bed, stand and to go to the bathroom. Have you ever been so high on prescribed drugs and in so much pain, you have zero idea if you have finished going for a pee or not? I have. The recovery from my stomach operation was slow, and you know it is a really tough time when the doctor advises you to drink McDonald's milkshakes as I was losing muscle and fat rapidly. With the stark reminder that life can be taken from you at any point, I was eager to travel and explore more of the world. And this was around the same time I heard of a program called Camp America. I had also made the decision to stop playing so much football, which at the time was my job and my sole identity. I was Mayna, the football player. That was certainly difficult for my family to wrap their heads around. Imagine playing football every day of your youth, doing very well in the sport, and upon waking up with a six inch scar straight through my abdominals, I decide to move on and try something new, not easy. I apply for the Camp America program, and I am quickly accepted to a day camp in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Little did I know, I had to fill out a medical form and have it signed off by a doctor. This was an issue as I was currently bed bound and unable to stand up without assistance. Fortunately, the doctor believed I would make a full recovery by the time it came to my flight to the USA. Around this same time, my life's goals had taken a complete slap to the face. I had chosen not to pursue football, and now I had to decide what to do with my life. It seemed the most common thing to do was to go to university. So I applied to university, so I had a backup plan for after America. Before I knew it, it was time for me to stand up from the sofa, put down the McDonald's milkshakes, and fly to the USA to coach swimming for four months. After the emotional goodbyes with the family, something that never gets easier even when you travel frequently, I arrive in the USA at the airport and feel a huge hit of freedom, nerves, anxiety, and excitement. After being picked up and meeting the incredible team I would be spending my summer with, it was time for this ginger, pale, unfit dude to make full use of the swimming pool. I jumped into the pool and a wave of happiness hits me. I'm in the USA meeting new people and taking responsibility for my own life. Little did I know that my stitches had come out, my stomach uh, wound had opened up and I was bleeding. Not a great start to the summer. The four months in America flew by and it gave me my first true insight into living abroad and how much more there is to see in the world. Unfortunately, I could not travel after finishing my summer work. I had to fly back to start at Cardiff Metropolitan University studying as an undergrad in sports coaching. Go figure. Here is how my university years went. Year one, freshers. Completed the absolute minimum amount of work to get by. Established I could funnel a bottle of vodka pretty well. Found a new passion in water polo and attempted to change my course to sports nutrition but that would cost significantly more with the ridiculous university prices now. Year two, I continued playing water polo, drank even more, done very little work, found CrossFit and started working out a lot. Year three, drunk very little. University was pretty easy and my course was not anything special. Worked out even more and really started to enjoy CrossFit established I wanted to explore the world more and going to a normal job was not for me. I had been coaching CrossFit for a very short amount of time but this seemed like the next logical step for me to continue coaching. So I searched the internet for countries that looked cool and where I had not been before. I applied for a job in Dubai while still at university and got the opportunity to go. 
The day after my last exam at university, I flew to Dubai to start the next challenge and get out of my comfort zone. Little did I know this would change my life forever. More to follow soon.